This fight has been years in the making. About 10 years ago, the push began to raise that minimum wage, wage to $15 an hour. And now we're continuing to see those efforts in place. In fact, to commemorate what has been going on for the last decade, there's going to be a march and a rally here today outside of City Hall. But certainly we know that fight is not over anytime soon. All of this comes as the cost to live, to eat, to work in New York and New York City just continues to rise. So here we are today, and that is where we are with what is going to be happening today a little bit later on. Raise Up NY is the coalition organizing and overseeing these efforts. The group of workers, labor, and community came together following the introduction of an amended legislation, a bill that would include annual minimum wage increases. If passed, the bill would raise the minimum wage in the city and surrounding suburbs to $21.25 an hour by 2026, and the wage for the rest of the state to $20. The bill also ensures workers in New York get annual raises and earn enough money to cover everyday basics to survive, such as rent and food. Today's march, known as the fight for $15, comes amid significant cost increases and a stagnant minimum wage. Look at the fast food industry. Unionizing Chipotle workers in the city push, much like those at McDonald's who walked out of the job back in November of 2012. So Raise Up NY says the legislation is the future of worker rights in the state. Yesterday, while addressing the city's housing and homeless crisis, Mayor Eric Adams talked about the struggles New Yorkers are facing just trying to get by. People are struggling, and it's not only low income. You know, oftentimes when we talk about housing, we talk about a low income. But speak to that accountant uh, in that uh, cook. Or if you work in a fast food restaurant and you and your spouse are both being paid minimum wage, there's just hurdles. Now, a statewide $15 minimum wage went into effect about four years ago, but as we're seeing inflation surge, we're seeing the minimum wage rising in cities across the nation. And now here in New York, leaders want the same thing to happen. In fact, people who are backing this bill are hoping Governor Kathy Hochul will support the rise in minimum wage, not just in the suburbs and upstate New York, but also right here in New York City.